Hello, I'm the Media Whiz, because one form wasn't enough. And welcome back to Media Ween. It's a lot brighter in here, and you could actually see me. Well, as my schedule predicted, I had to do a board game review, and so I went through my old board game closet, and I was able to find a classic horror game. Clue. So let's set up on the board game reviewing floor, and we'll be able to review this bad boy. Uh, Alright. So, we've got the game here. Clue, we've got our, count them, six main characters. It's Parker Brothers game with, just notice right now, the characters on the box are very frizz freeling uh, in, in drawing. So, <laughs> see, it says Clue Parker Brothers detective game. And we've got, well, let's open this bad boy up. There we go. Alright, so here's the board. Okay, so we have little objects right here, and we've got a gun. We have a gun, which by the way is a really good looking gun, it's a 9mm, wow. That's either a sword or a knife, I'm gonna go with knife. We've got the candlestick, and a wrench. So for dice we have one die right here. That little, I have to say these are really good looking pieces. They're basically little pawns, like on chess boards, and let me show them off. Here they are. Alright, let me read the instruction book. Oh wow, there's a lot. Wow, I love it. The, the, the instructions are all broken up into preparation, arranging with the cards, dealing the cards, starting the game, moving the tokens, movement into rooms, getting out of a room, the suggestions, examples, proving the suggestion true or false, and the, and the accusation. Is there stuff on the back? Oh wow, there's stuff on the back! All right, winning the game, secret passages, other interesting notes and hints to play the game. Let me just show this off. Front cover. Inside of game. Look at that. Look how much text that is. Well, to be fair, wow, they did a pretty good job on the not keeping board games boring aspect. All right, clue, rules to play, introduction. This game is unlike any other. All the characters are fictitious. Even the victim is imagined, like a stage play. So the board, so this board game is a stage play apparently now. The scenes open with Mr. Body palatial mansion. Mr. Body is a victim of foul play and is found in one of the rooms. The object of the game is to discover the answer to these three questions. Who? Which one of the several suspects did it? Second, where? Third, how? Alright, so that's how, that's basically where, when people think of this game, you know, they always think this person did it, did it in this room with this, so that's basically what this is. The answers lie in a little envelope resting on the stairway marked X in the center of the board. The envelope contains three cards. One card tells who did it, another card reveals the room where it happened, and the third card discloses the weapon used. The player, who by the process of deduction and good plain common sense, first identifies the solution cards hidden in the little envelope with wins the game. This is accomplished by players moving into rooms and making suggestions of what they believe the room, the person, and the weapon, blah blah blah. This information may reveal which card is, are in other players' hands, which missing. I'm sorry, I'm fat. I'm sorry, but this is... Alright, equip... Alright, now we're moving on to the equipment. I'm not reading all this. I'm just reading the front, because I'm sorry. I mean, at least I explained what the, explained the gameplay is. Versus all the rest of this. Well, okay. Equipment. The board game shown is Mr. Body's house. Six colored tokens, that's... That, that's what the little pieces are. Represent the subjects of the house. These colors are... The, the colors of the pieces are closely associated with the names of the suspects. Oh, okay, so in here it explains it too. Suspects, you got Colonel Mustard who's yellow, you got Miss Scarlet who's red, you got Professor Plum who's purple, Mr. Green who's green, Mrs. White who's white, and Mrs. Peacock who's blue. And last thing it says on the front, six, six miniature weapons and one death. 
All right. Okay, then we got the detective notes right here, which comes with a little... Is this a pen? Let me see this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty handy. It's a little... Here. It's a little thing that basically holds the pen and pencil in it. That's actually really handy. Gotta give them credit. And also comes with a little backup pencil in case apparently you lose that one. Some some metal rod thing. I don't know what this is. And oh wow, there's a noose. I'm not kidding. That's a noose. All right, here's a little envelope with the cards, and it's pre-opened. Like here, you got candlestick, you got rope, you got. N yep, it was a knife. I was right. I love how the card says revolver. This is not a revolver. This is a nine millimeter. Thirties <laughs> man has a revolver. And then there's there's this, there's more cards, and that's actually very lovely, ma lovely made little designer thing for the box. That's actually very well put together. All right, let's look at the game. So, as you can tell, there's tons of diff there's different areas. There's the se the center, which is this, and basically you're supposed to the object of the game is to go around, and like I said in the instruction manual, you're basically supposed to go around to different rooms. You basically use these to find out who the person who killed it was, and the and the person that wins is the person that's able to figure out who the killer was, with what item, and what room it was. So I know this was kind of a cop-out for a MediaWiz review board game, but uh, seeing how I don't really have a lot of people to play with, it was... It's kind of hard to review a game when you don't have anyone to play with. I mean, the very first board game review I did was with was with Trevor and Timmy, so... And that, that episode was probably one of the longest episodes I did. That was 27 minutes. Second longest episode I've released on the show. So, yeah. So, Clue. What do I think of the game? It's very good. The idea is clever, the gameplay is interesting, and of course it has you on the tip of your toes no matter what you do. It, it's a very clever game, and I congratulate the people who came up with it. Good job, Parker Brothers. So overall, Clue is a very good game. I recommend playing it. I'm the Media Whisk, because my form wasn't enough. Things are getting weird in rivers